hello all welcome back to my channel so today we are looking at the new entrant into the market the royal enfield super meteor 650 which is a cruiser bike as you are seeing here it has this uh, front uh, upside down suspension and all new led headlamp semi digital speedometer along with trip meter and a massive 15.7 liter fuel tank in teardrop design the color you are seeing here so it is the celestial red which is the top of the line variant now comes to the engine so it has a massive 648 cc of uh, engine with 47 ps of power which is a parallel twin engine so this is taken from the Interceptor 650 but refined uh, that suits this uh, profile here on the 650 Super Meteor. Since it is a parallel twin you will be seeing a dual exhaust. And coming to the tires it has a 100 by 90 R19 front 150 by 80 R16 at the rear. So at the rear the tire is very wide, wide section tire you can call it and it has dual channel ABS. Coming to the switch gear on the right you see engine on off and the hazard signal light button. This is the same console you see on a Meteor 350 and on the left you see the headlights button, signal lights, horn. And on the other side you also see an I button with which you can change the details on the speedometer. So this has this adjustable clutch, also the adjustable brake. So I have I've seen uh, it has three levels of adjustments. So as per your convenience you can always change the travel of the lever. So this is a celestial uh, red which is top of the line as I have told you. So it has the windshield, the touring seat. Uh, the wide touring seat and the backrest as a standard so even if you want to purchase this uh, seat it is not available uh, for you to upgrade if you are taking any lower variants and the windshield is also is at uh, very good quality so the one you are seeing here so we are going to do a test ride on this so this is the interstellar green another variant we can call it the base variant so this is how the key looks like just like any other RE once you switch on you will see the full sweep and the tripper so let us see how does it sound like My driving experience on this bike, so initially you will feel you are, you are sitting in a typical cruising stance on this bike with that uh, low seat and wide handlebar. So it has this tall gearing ratio where uh, you can go till even 60 km per hour in the first gear and I felt that clutch is little on the heavier side. And the power delivery you are getting on this bike is very linear, not a sudden rush of power you will get it and because of this bike's weight which is 241 kilograms and its long wheelbase and cruiser style setup right so taking a u-turn is not that easy in a city traffic and the turning radius too is very big so you see you see me here i'm trying to take that u-turn so i had to find a gap in the traffic to take that long uh, u-turn Also, I would say the handling is very excellent, uh, even in the city. So there is no complaints on the handling side. 
suspension is is on the stiffer side i i am feeling those bumps on the roads so i i i feel that they should have little more softer suspension for the bike of this size i feel that it needs more braking power not that this has bad brakes the brakes are good the brakes are decent but i feel that a bike of this size should have more braking power so that it will give lot of confidence if you have to take a sudden break the variant you are seeing here is the astral blue which is the base variant uh, in the lineup so this doesn't come with uh, the windshield the touring seat and the backrest so it comes with normal seat so at this point of time uh, so we don't know if they will be providing it as an extra accessories here so i would like to thank svr motors kondapur and you can talk to shiva if you want to know more about the pricing and details thank you all for watching if you have any queries please post it in the comments i'll try to help you out bye